First part of the video, we will look at OpenText System Center, our deployment automation tool. System Center has a catalog of all OpenText software. You can always get the latest product version and download the necessary software for your deployment. So we can look up, for example, Content Suite and pick the latest version of Content Suite and select what platform we want to deploy it on. Then the components and dependencies are downloaded automatically. We can also maintain execution plans to automate deployment. Support for open text and third-party applications are provided here. So let's have a look at the plan. So we can look uh, at different target systems we can have different plans with step-by-step -step instructions for System Center how to deploy it. We can also automate system settings, directory creation and other things which needs to be done in a deployment. Then we can execute our plan. And you can see what is going on now. So there's a status information, directory services installed, content server is installed, and the basic configuration of content server is done. Now the deployment is complete. And the content server is ready to run. The directory services is ready to run. That was System Center. In this demo, we will show how to deploy OpenText Content Suite Platform, CSP, on Google Cloud Platform. So what we have prepared here is a cluster for the demo, CSP cluster. It runs in Europe West. It has a minimum required resources associated. So far, there's no workload, no services. And the only configuration we have right now here is the, um, the secret to connect to Docker Hub, where we pull the Docker images from. So here you see Docker Hub. We have a Docker image for directory services, archive server, OpenText content server, and the Postgres databases for content server and archive server. So on our demo environment, we have uh, connected our kube control uh, with this uh, CSP cluster on GCP. And now let's deploy it. So first we, we switched into the directory where we have the Kubernetes control files. You see we have different YAML files here for config map, secret services, uh, persistent volume claims and so on. And with kube control apply minus F dot, we just deploy all the services on the Google Cloud Platform. With kube control get services, we can see that the services are now deployed on GCP. Uh, we have uh, different uh, cluster IPs and we have also pods connected with load balancer to the internet. With kube control get pods we can see that our containers are actually now up and running. And we can also uh, have a look at the persistent volume uh, where the config data and the persistent content uh, objects and database uh, information is stored. Now let's switch back to the uh, console on the Google Cloud Platform. We have a look at the cluster again. The CSP cluster is now up and running. Uh, we can have a look at the workloads. We see our five pods here for Archive Center, uh, Postgres database for Archive Center and so on. We see that our services are up and running. And we see also the URL to the content server here. And our secrets and config maps that includes all the configuration data for the deployments, which can be controlled and edited here from the Google Cloud Platform. And we see that the persistent volumes and the persistent volume claims are also up and running. So let's click on the URL for the content server and we see that the content server is up and running. Just in a few seconds we have basically started up a whole deployment here with the latest version of the content server.